Friday night in America, June 26. Is it the 26? June 26, 2020. America, how y'all doing this evening? Friday night, everybody on the East Coast is around about, well, it's past midnight. Uh, y'all niggas in the house, if you're a woman, run shit. If you out here in the streets, congratulations. Um, I want to say what's up to all the people in the Midwest. It's about 10-something. Y'all still in the street. Some of y'all going to have to just deal with your woman talking shit when you get in the house. Oh, 11 o'clock getting trouble, ass niggas. Then out here on this West Coast, it's 9-something. Niggas can still act like the store's still open. You did. You know what I'm saying? On the COVID-19, I lost my mask. That's why I'm late side of the game. You dig what I'm trying to say to you? You got to run it. If that's your woman, don't worry about the truth. The truth will break y'all up. Tell that bitch what she got to hear so her emotions can rest. <laughs> Energy Repo Show side of the game. This week, my man Marcus has come up with another killer song. I'm going to let him introduce it. Go ahead and do your thing, Marcus. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Fuck around and talk one of them hoes in the neighborhood, man. I think the rubber busted, man. But shit. Um, she be fucking around. Come to find out, she be fucking around in the neighborhood. So shit ain't got nothing to do with me. So I wrote a song about it. Hit it for me, man. My side bitch pregnant, but she won't keep. But she the hoe of the neighborhood, and it ain't a secret. No secret. She don't know who the daddy is, so she over that line. Hey, about to tell that bitch that baby ain't mine. That baby ain't mine. My side bitch pregnant, but she won't keep. Won't keep. She the hoe of the neighborhood, and it ain't a secret. It ain't no secret. She don't know Oh, 
Get a job at Burger King. You can use them pay stubs in checks and things. one like that too.
Mystery Repo Show. And you already know we on the couch with the country ass talk. Me and my man Marcus. You know Marcus. You know Marcus. Hey man, this week on the 5150 show, we made a song that I feel like they should be playing in the cars in Arkansas. <laughs> you remember the shit? Yeah. yeah. You, you remember the hook? I'm uh, trying to remember how it go. Chilling with my Arkansas bitch. bitch. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> About to make some coon and grits. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, that shit was a cut, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I be fucking with Marcus in his countryside of the game. But it don't matter if you from Arkansas. Um, that damn it, the Europe, uh, the Scandinavia, it don't matter where you from. I am about to talk to everybody about bringing people you fucking to your job. <laughs> See, in the industry, what people do is they use their good or the good they fucking with as backup singers. They use them as grips. They use them as whatever. <laughs> but whatever you are filming something, it's best to find a dope thing <laughs> from Home Depot and bring them <laughs> rather than have people you fucking working with you in the entertainment industry. Uh, have you ever done some dumb shit like that, brother? I mean, like, I'm just saying, it ain't got to be no incident in particular. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I've I, I, I done it several times, but see, me and my bitches got to understand that. Do you? Yeah, I'm loose foot and fancy free when I'm uh, 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 in, in loose public. foot and what? Fancy free, fancy free, fancy, fancy, fancy free. free. Yeah, you know I uh -oh. can move. You know what I'm saying? I'm loose foot and fancy free. They you understand know? what it is? Yes, sir. Yes, I mean, sir. I remember when I did an episode of Wildin' Out, and I snuck this uh bitch I was fucking with. I don't even know the bitch really. Yeah. Snuck her ass down there, goddamn it. And this motherfucker was watching every move I made. Mm -mm. I had to tell her, your importance is of no relevance. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I get mine. See, what I do, my, I sick them on bitches. You know what right. I, mean? oh. I have watching bitches, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you, yeah? You no, know, I have mine like a pit bull. I done had a dyke broad, too, goddammit. <laughs> bitch who eat pussy? Yes, Go sir. get other bitches? Yeah, eat pussy and suck dick. I had a dyke mm -hmm. bitch, but she like butchy bitches, so all the bitches she brought home... Oh. Look like that bitch who blamed oh. Bill Cosby for date rape. <laughs> I was like, baby, hold on. Now you got to bring a pretty bitch back. These, the white good looking ass bitches you bring into the house <laughs> ain't working out. <laughs> you probably couldn't pull no pretty bitch, Carla. But she, no, she was a cute girl. She just liked okay. manly bitches. And she used to be like, it's a pussy, ain't it? I used to be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked the car? Man, I done you, fucked some straight uh, stud looking ass bitches. <laughs> you pulled the Jabos down. They, they ain't like, like me. A lot of them ain't like me. I could tell. Like when they was giving me the pussy, they was looking at my girl like, like hey, <laughs> get this thing. I'm going to be through in a minute so y'all can be in here by yourself. <laughs> I could feel their happiness when I left the room and shit, goddammit. But I. I, I would always fuck the, the new bitch. Is that, and my girl would be jealous of that. Like, when you you brought the ugly bitch over, goddammit, I'm fucking this uh, man-looking bitch who feet stink. Babe. <laughs> hey, I fucked one of them bitches. Uh, I fucked a bitch, man, found out she used to be a stud. But you I say found, found out yeah. she used to be a stud. Yeah, I, I thought found you say Fadasa. <laughs> 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 well, a lot of bitches used to eat pussy, but tell me about it. How the bitch, how you find Look, out? Let me tell you how I found crazy. Wait, man, I'm going to the house, and I'm going to the, when I go into the house, I see pictures and shit on the wall, but I don't see no pictures of her. I see a picture of a nigga and a bitch. And it's a, now, the chick was dark skin, like she was light skin, and goddamn me, the nigga in the pictures was, was light skin, and the bitch was dark skin. I said, bitch, who house? She done brought me up. Who what? Who house? You done brought me over. House. Yeah. He said house. Who house? <laughs> I said, bitch, who house? You done brought me over. She was like, shit, it's my house. Like, you see my pictures on the wall? I said, no, I don't see no damn pictures on the wall of you, bitch. I see a nigga and a bitch. What couple is this? She said, oh, that's my old, old bitch. I said, well, shit, you ain't on the picture. She said, oh, that's me with the, with the pants on and the shirt. I said, oh, man. That was man. a picture of her studded out. She was studded out, man. Wow. Star studded. I said, God damn. I knew this funky I wonder bitch. why she was grunting while I was fucking. Oh, mm. she was a, mm. right. Yeah. yeah. 
No, I had one girl, and she would never give me credit. See, I'm highly intelligent. I just don't brag on it. But she would be talking to cap. the bitch she fucking with. You say, that's a cap. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm But it, it works for me. I love that people think I'm dumb because they try to bullshit on me. That's what I do. She was on the phone giggling. When girls be on the phone, they don't be. <laughs> she was just giggling. I said, who the fuck is that? And then she said the girl name. I say, is y'all sucking pussy? Oh, and then she man. act like I was so foul and out of bounds for saying that. On the phone. I was like, what y'all giggling at? Bitches don't be giggling. She was sucking bitches on the be dick talking cold. shit. No, it's just what it is. The other bitch was flirting with her or something on the phone. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Is that she thought I wouldn't be smart enough to figure it out. And when I finally saw the bitch, I already knew. I could tell that was a stud bitch. Pose, I could just tell. She was one of them ugly studs posing with a boy. She was one of them bitches who used to play ball. Yeah. She used to play ball. But I saw the manliness in her. I was like, yes, that's you, y'all sucking pussy. Yeah, because some of them bitches still be, face be so strong, they can't help it but to go to the other side. Because niggas ain't fucking with them like that over here. Who a strong stud bitch everybody know? That, that. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, you ever seen All American? All American. No. Coop. Coop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Coop, look, uh, Coop look like a platypus. My son called me, told me I look like some nigga <laughs> off that show. I yeah, think. you look like the dad. I've been trying to tell Fuck you. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> I he like the real dad off, on All American. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> hey, he fit your character, dude. That nigga abandoned his child. Oh, yeah, I do that. <laughs> I ain't about to slow my life down because you born. <laughs> that, that, you, know how many, you, know, you know how many your mama killed? I don't know how she kept you and blaming it on me. Hey, he would have raised another nigga, too. That's what fucked up. He raised another kid? He would have raised another kid. That's life in America. You, the, 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 the kids you be around is the kids of the bitch you be around. <laughs> <laughs> I tell a bitch, I know they're my kids, but I'm around this bitch now. Yeah. I like her features. Make That's sure you have a good nigga around my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody say that. Shit, I ain't gonna be here dealing with your funk ass. <laughs> bitch, that day your titties was sweaty and musty under the bottom part. That I never got over that. I knew I wasn't gonna, I knew we weren't gonna make it after that. I, God damn, bitch, what you done? This bitch been mountain climbing and got in bed. Man, I've been doing a lot. I've been, I've been, I've been different here lately, man. I've been doing a lot of stepfathering myself, man. Stepfather? Yeah, I've been doing you, a lot of stepfathering. That means you started dating a girl who got a, yeah. a son. Yeah. yeah, but you know, I do, I do temporary. You know what I'm saying? I step in and step out. I'm a real step. I'm a career stepfather. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those <laughs> and then I, I just I be I make a bond with the little kid, man, cause it be cool and shit. You know, cause I be just trying. I really come in. I'm just looking for consistent coochie. But they end up, her, you know, I end up having to, she had to need somebody to watch her. You get stuck, son. nigga. You ain't got I, the guts to be like, bitch, get this little nigga out of my face. Yeah, she need somebody to watch her son at work. Yeah, you you ever ever son son at work, huh? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever said that? Bitch, get this little nigga, now. Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, just yeah. said that about dogs, kids, yeah. same thing. Get the little motherfucker and put him in the room and lock the door. Yeah, that damn it, so we can do what we do. Now, if I like your kid, <laughs> that's different. If it's, if it's a respectable mm -hmm. kid, I am a respectable guy. I can be around a respectable child. But if your kid ain't about shit, mm -hmm. I need him to go away while I'm here. That's why I pop up late. Your kids ain't got no business up during the hours I pop over, goddammit. It should be no parking spots if you live in a in a nice neighborhood. <laughs> Some nice neighborhoods ain't no parking spots. Oh, yeah, no, them no, no. fucked up neighborhoods. There's plenty of places to put your car so them niggas can break in. <laughs> plenty of places to put your car. Them niggas be like, ooh, we got us one. Man, I, remember, I remember I was over this bitch house, man. My car got towed, man. Car got towed. Bitch wouldn't even want to put it in on my damn toy. That bitch, you finna pay for this motherfucker. Hey, hey why she got to pay for it? Because you ain't read the sign. No, that bitch told me to park right there. <laughs> Bitch set you up. Yeah, shit, it's your fault. God damn it, you gotta pay this toll. I had to stop fucking with it like that. That bitch cheap. You remember always, whenever you in a car, you have to read the signs because the person in the passenger side always be like, that spot good right there. Go on ahead, pull right there. They don't give a fuck about your shit getting towed. I be like, fuck you. You wait there till I get back. Yeah, that bitch just like, trying to get fucked. She just trying to get fucked. She was in a rush to get fucked. Hey, hell yeah, man. Oh shit, alarm <laughs> clock's going off at this motherfucker. 
Did hit the side of it. Probably mine, man. I, 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 I don't usually have no late alarms on my thing, man. But that's old know. girl who got your car towed, texting you, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you mean I got your car towed, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, nah, but look, Marcus, let me tell you something. You at that age where bitches you fucking could still get pregnant. Oh, yeah. See, bitches I fuck with act like they pregnant. Oh. Bitches in their 40s, they'll call you. I think I'm pregnant. I be like, ah, yeah, right, bitch. You ain't gonna. Make you ain't gonna be no thinking that that low. Old pregnancy at forty. <laughs> what you forty six, bitch? Get your dead baby in your stomach, ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's the. He's the that baby gonna be floating like a Cheeto bag in Lake Michigan. <laughs> the crawling dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, when bitches. I fuck with old bitches be acting like they pregnant. I'll be like, bitch, what happened then? <laughs> if you a bad motherfucker, try to nurture your stomach to make a full pregnancy go through that elderly womb you working with. That bitch pussy gonna spit out black seed oil. <laughs> that, that baby come out, that, you gonna make that sound. <laughs> it's that old lady pushing the baby out. <laughs> it took it first and last, bro. Right, but see, you of an age what girls you fuck with can actually uh, hatch your seeds. Oh, yeah. That's why so I wear condoms. Always? Yeah, I always wear condoms. Get the fuck out of it. That's a cap. But sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I, sometimes no, I, I, I jump stick in. stick with rubbers. Sometimes I jump in that motherfucker here with a little raw in the Nigga, beginning. Get the fuck out of here. But I get my wear... condom because it's my nut net. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Know. My nut net. I don't know what that nigga said. I can't abbreviate that. <laughs> That nigga say a nut net. This my nigga go fishing for sperm <laughs> with a net. That's why I catch my nut, you know what I'm saying? So I want nut in the bitch, you know what I'm saying? So this my nut net. So what you pull out? Huh? Is that what you saying? No, I, I, got, I put the condom on. I get here, get a stroke a few times. Oh, so the I get condom the, is the nut net. Yeah, the my nut net. So I give oh, you a okay. few strokes in, see how good it is, you know what I'm saying? And then I get put the condom on, you know what I'm saying? Because just in case, I nut too fast, but the condom help me, hold me down. But if you a happy dick nigga, you can get up pregnant like that. Sperm seep dick. out happy dick nigga. See, if you been fucking bitches, like, I done fucked so many bitches, don't know sperm come out. My sperm be like, who is that? I don't like how that bitch look, I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> you, a young, you a young happy dick nigga. You don't get a bitch pregnant like that. So you must mess with all girls who done lost hope and don't feel no uh, potential in you. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> a lot of girls, they be out here trying to have babies. I mean, good thing you got going for you, your hairline gone. So they don't want to carry your baby. <laughs> so I'm just saying. They'll fuck you, though. They'll fuck you. But they be like, I don't want that baby to come out. They be like, what if it's a girl? <laughs> that baby come just, out. My nut neck. You just bad. <laughs> you just bad, your dick. <laughs> He finna try to get me back, I already know. He just <laughs> mad your nut shoot out slow, you can't my, get Yeah, it do. It don't make it to you. It don't shoot no more, it fall out my dick. It come out like motherfucker got it shot. It come to the middle, it ah. just come back and fall back right. down. <laughs> lazy ass kids. Right, lazy kids. <laughs> kids won't work nut. <laughs> <laughs> Them handicapped kids you carry to you. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> anyway, so we got, um, we got um, a special guest. Coming up on the motherfucking show this week, one of the motherfucking, one of the motherfucking real deaf comedy jam, king of comedy type motherfuckers, one of the motherfuckers who've been putting it down a long time, and we're going to talk about how you've been putting it down when we come back. We're going to have my man Joe Torrey sit on the couch, goddamn it, industry repo show. <laughs>
sounds are so beautiful, don't you think? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I am absolutely flabbergasted. That's a word I heard another motherfucker say. I don't even know what the fuck it means. Um, to have on the show one of the motherfuckers I used to watch on the come up side of the game. He don't even know I used to watch his shows. I was just a little peon comic at the time. My man been out here putting it down for a while. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joe Torre. What up? What, what up? What up? What up? What up? We doing? You know, I know you ain't got nothing going <laughs> Joe on. Joe just got through motherfucking up. Uh, he was just on the phone with uh, Scarface. Face. Laughing at my outfit and shit. He what up, Face? Face. Think you got to come on the show. Face called you. He called you Chuck Berry and shit. He called he me Chuck like, Berry and shit. God he, damn it. You know what I'm saying? Damn, my hair growing out that long? I ain't going to cut it either, God damn it. Now, well, you know. you. I, I, maybe he saw you dancing, doing what you had to do. <laughs> I was going to say Benny Hill. Benny Hill? Oh, shit. <laughs> See, I'm, I know what Benny Hill is. I don't exactly. know if these youngins damn, around man. here know what Benny Hill Google is. Google that shit. They'll be like, right. that's an old ass motherfucker. Marcus young. don't know what Benny Hill. He they was conceived know. while Benny Hill was on. He said the preacher. preacher. Yeah, him. Anyway, Joe. Yeah, man, you bring that shit back. <laughs> you say I'm bringing it back. Huh? Hey, man, one of these days, I'm going to get a, a, a big-ass studio. We're going to be doing skits and all that shit. This We're is gonna... a big-ass studio. What you talking about? We can't move around that much in here. Well, you know, I, you know, they don't know that. <laughs> they don't know. Yeah, right. They can't tell. I got to set up tell, sleep, man. though. I, you know, I just parked my plane right over there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, how long you been doing this shit? Shit, down there was over thirty years. Thirty years, eighty nine. I got to L.A. in like eighty nine, man. So, Damn. you know, so that's when I when I put my first check down was like August of uh, eighty nine. So that's what I say. That's one how day, long I've been doing it. One day you said something to me. I ain't never forgot it. What? It be little shit people say, and it stick with you. One day you told me you were standing in front of the comedy store, right? And the homie. Tupac was across the street with a whole bunch of wild Ooh. motherfuckers. Yeah. Hey, you, you, you remember the story? You was finna yeah. go over there and say what's up? Yeah. And Tupac was like, don't come over here, nigga. <laughs> 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 like, shit like that excite me, because I wasn't shit. out here during that time. But like, yeah. that night, you saw Tupac, and he was like, what, what happened? Well, this, this is when he had got out of jail. And he was coming back around, so he was circulating. And he had, you know, started hanging out with Suge. So it was like, you know, okay, we had the comedy store. They went to the belly room. This was before Guy, you know, you know, um, I think, well, we, yeah, yeah. But he went to the belly room, and then they came to the comedy store, Big Romania. And they was hanging out heavy. So um, I ain't going to say who I was with. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to say who you was with? It was somebody famous? Somebody famous. See? <laughs> God damn it. See, yo? I actually saved my life. Give it to us. But Give it like, to us. I was like, yo, we going to go over here next. She goes, you know, we go over next door. Go upstairs, get fucked up, drink, hang out, park back. Yeah. And uh, we just go meet outside. And he was like, you know, I was walking. I was like, dude, you coming? Let's go. She had her and a couple of friends, you know, little actresses. You know just what I'm a saying? famous actress? Famous okay, actress. Okay, we'll There's go for that. So, so I was like, you know, he's like, uh, we going to chill over here for a minute. Y'all going? I was like, well, I'm going to go start smoking. We're going to go over to park. And I was walking over there, and they was looking across the street. It was like 30 motherfuckers over here and 20-something, five motherfuckers across the street from me. <laughs> And you kind of, you know, what the fuck is that about? They're gathering all of them in the same car. This wasn't that time where <laughs> motherfuckers was, you know, you know, riding together. Yeah. And then it was just like, and I was coming over, what's up, what room we in? And he was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tupac you know, was like. <laughs> he's like, yo, I'll catch up with you. And I was like, oh, whatever. I looked, and I was like, yeah, I ain't in for that bullshit tonight. He was with the mob, wasn't he? Um, but no, that was uh, two weeks after that, man. That's when he passed. That's when he passed. Yeah, yeah, that's when the shit went down to Vegas and. But it was, you know, it was just, you know, they, you know, that was whatever that was, man. You know what I'm saying? But I would have been hanging with them motherfuckers that night. Oh. I went and got some pussy. Oh, you went and got some pussy? I went married, did. I was, hey, I went got, hey, hey. You pussy like, destroys lives and saves lives. Pussy save saved my life. Right. <laughs> pussy saved my life that night. I was like, we can't do that. Come on. Like, Come on. I was like, all right, whatever. I don't know if motherfuckers ask you this shit either, but what? when you was working with Janet Jackson, was she a bitch? No, Tupac man. had something to say about it. She was cool with you, huh? No, man. Janet was the coolest, man. What? Janet was the coolest of all. And I was a new booty in the game as far as, you know, acting and being on the set and mm -hmm. knowing all this stuff. Tupac, Janet, Regina, they all been acting since they was like 12, 13. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm acting like I'm, I know how to look at my, that's the trailer. That's my Angelo. Everybody on the set. It was big dogs on the set. My Angelo. Everybody, grandmama, I was like, what Maya the fuck? Angelo, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? 
But um, um, Janet was so professional, man. She had the big trailer. She had the big, um, you know, all the bodyguards. Not too many of them, but she had everything. And, you know, she would be the first one on set, first one in rehearsal, first one, last one to leave. And you called her back, and she came with a whole crew. I mean, it took the camper, uh, you know, her shit like 12, 12 cars. You know, I got one car and a, you know, motherfucking trailer I'm sharing with Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> you sharing it <laughs> with Tupac. You were smoking weed fucking bitches all between us. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Them trailers, you, you, it's hard to fuck with trailers without being he known. He didn't give a cause shit. Because they move. He did. Them trailers Tupac, be moving man. when you fuck it. Man, Tupac didn't give a shit what, who, what, he was smoking weed, fucking bitches, doing whatever he wanted to, man. He was, he was young. He turned 21, you know, doing, you know, the filming of Poetic Justice. So he was just a young kid just... He was getting pussy. He was getting everything. God damn it. I, I, getting more pussy. I, I ain't going to say no <laughs> names, but somebody was fucking in the trailer next to me, uh-huh. and it was shaking. And I was like, wild girl ain't loud. And then the <laughs> motherfucker got mad at me. <laughs> hey, you know what's fucked up? <laughs> Go to your trailer and you forget you still got your motherfucking, uh, you know, your little. Yeah, that shit happened. <laughs> that happened you to me. You got your little microphone on. They when turned you, that shit yeah. off. Yeah. When you acting, you, you have microphones on. Yeah. That a little and they be taped on to you. And if you forget you got it on, your phone calls, your fucking, yeah. your shitting. Should that's you what happened to me. What you say about everybody? They fight pussy ass motherfucker. That motherfucker ain't seen one shit. Right. Hey, Miss Breath stink. That nigga was fired. That motherfucker, right. all that shit, they be recorded. They be you recorded. Be like, you done killed they your heard career. me shit. You done killed your career in five seconds. They heard me shit and take a, yeah. a, a little wash up bath in my thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I washed I, up with a shirt, goddamn it. That's how I found out when I was, you know, they say, you want, you, 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 you want to come, put your, your mic off when you go to the bathroom. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, how they going to go to the bathroom? Oh, shit. Y'all no, catch another shit I said? I shit it loud, too. I was, uh, I ain't know nobody you heard know that though, shit. Right? Well, who knows? You don't know, you don't know when to cut that shit off. You know, you know when they know, because they be smiling at you when you come back to set. They be like, hey, yeah. what? Mm-hmm. Tell us. I ain't know. They found you out. Know. They do well, all this well, shit. You say something bad about the ass, and then you know you like, God damn. Yeah, you say something bad. That PA escort Ooh. you off set. <laughs> say something about the motherfucking director. That yeah. piece of shit, punk motherfucker. Motherfucker, your scenes be cut. You be like that. Dick in the booty ass, motherfucker. I have I had seventeen more scenes. Not today. Right, God damn it. Not the rest home. of this movie, motherfucker. Hell I'm yeah. serious. You had that was the first series, the first little shit you had. You know, you be, you don't know you talking. I learned that shit. I was doing a, a, a Remember the Time video with Michael Jackson. That's when I first learned about that. Because you got to, you know, You was in that video? Was, yeah, I was in that video. I forgot. Remember yeah. the Time? That's one of my favorites. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was huge, nigga. That's when I was trying That's to That's when you were. I, I was like I 205. Was, I, hey, man, I remember when Joe was. I was Joe running next to Diesel. Tiny. <laughs> right. I'm going to look at that video again. I remember. Yeah. You, you don't hit the weights like you used to. I remember yeah. your ass look like. That's 30 years ago, nigga. I ain't trying right. to play for the Raiders now. <laughs> <laughs> Joe was motherfucking hurt. mighty mouse to this bitch. I ain't bullshit. Joe motherfucking pulled up back in the day, goddammit. But that's that fatherhood slow you down. No, that's that motherfucking, you know, that shit hurt slow you down. <laughs> <laughs> fucking goddamn too many surgeries and shit. The, the muscles are strong and young, but the motherfucking tendons and them joints is old and a motherfucker. Yeah. I yeah. snatched both my goddamn car tendons out of my kneecap, dunking out there playing. And, you know, muscles get you there, but you, and them tendons and them joints, you know, it ain't, ain't no new muscles for them. When they through stretching, when you're on your motherfucking five millionth jump, it's it. Yeah. And you don't know, never know what it is. You be in the crib jumping, you done backflip, you know, you used to dunk. I used to be that nigga. You used to be that nigga. on the basketball court yeah. when I was. Try that shit now, motherfucker. Oh, hell no. Nah. I ain't, I be scared to jump yeah, off. Yeah, see, but you in shape. Your muscles don't know that. They don't know you old. They just know you trying to be young and strong. Oh, uh, yeah. And you, you know, your legs go up and your motherfucking kneecaps don't. You be like, God so you, so damn. If, so if you old, don't be trying to do that shit. You saw Ving Rang's doing baby boy no. with old girl. No, you can do that. I'm talking about don't be trying to jump them, but you can do all it that. It depends on who shit. the bitch is you holding. I got some big bitches. Well, you know. Well, you know. I got a bitch with a size 13 and a half shoe. But y'all ain't going to make it out the kitchen. Huh? Y'all ain't gonna make it out the kitchen. <laughs> no, I be trying to do it like that because I don't like like it, like if you, you do, do it like picking naked. If you do missionary, that thirteen and a half be right there. <laughs> so I had that foot behind me holding it like that and just trying to front like I'm trying to do something new. See, I just don't want to look at that foot. So you got to find you a flexible. See, most fat, see fat ones like that, they flexible. 
Yeah, I've seen some flexible back yeah, girls. And they really ain't got no choice, because once you say you're going that way, you're going that way. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ain't playing shit, like, man. oh, shit. Momentum gonna make you go that way. <laughs> for gravity. <laughs> gravity gonna pull your ass that way. Yeah, some, some fat girls uh, are flexible. Some skinny girls yeah. are flexible. Right. It's all about the skin. It's all, yeah. Loose skin bitches. Like some girls, when you grab their ass, you can squeeze it and shake it. Some girls, if you grab their ass and squeeze it, they be like, ah! Oh. You be like, oh, damn, your skin ain't flexible. I'm sorry, I ain't know. <laughs> the thing is, what, must, do you, <laughs> what do you enjoy at the moment? Do you want a chick that's blobby, blobby, beanbag, like she ain't never done nothing? Or do you want a chick that look, at least look like she, you know, I did some push-ups, at least try to stay in shape. But what do you, what, what, what's your pleasure when you go to that, you know, mammoth route? Honestly, I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. You just want if I'm fucking you, there is a motive behind it. And I hate that some girls know. They be asking, why you fucking me? <laughs> I know they have looked in the mirror and be like, <laughs> And you like you like my name is Lottery. Bitch, cause you work for United Airlines. <laughs> I need that hookup, bitch. <laughs> you know what it is. Quit lying to yourself. But can uh. you call it something else? <laughs> can you what? <laughs> what if she said, Can you call it something else? <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, just you know, don't call it I know what it is. No, but my damn, airline girl dress this shit up. Her pussy is magnificent. Okay. Yeah. Magnificent. Mag. Is that hold on? Is that two? Nif. Is that two G's or three? Four, oh, goddamn <laughs> This bitch, what is it? Magnificent. I'll be like, damn, I hate I can't show That's you all. That's another G and an N on that motherfucker. <laughs> magnificent. Magnificent. Goddamn it. Always mm. be clean. Mm. Like you know, once you look a certain way, you can't come to being funky. Okay. If you look a certain way, you got to be magnificently washed. Yes. Yeah, you just, you know, yeah. You Feet wrinkled at the bottom from soaking too long. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> can't be no hard, musty foot bitch if you ain't. Yeah. You know how it goes. Ain't Same nothing thing like with a guys. soft, clean foot. Yeah, say that again, Joe. Ain't nothing like a soft, clean foot. A soft, clean foot will get you a call back within <laughs> a week. That's good for a nigga who got shit going on. If a nigga call you twice in a week, that's good. In a week. If a man call you twice in a week, oh that motherfucker God. is, you are moving up the ladder. The, the la what the fuck? Twice in a week? Dude, really? Twice in a week. What you think? Ooh, that must be, what is it? <laughs> COVID-19? <laughs> <laughs> that bitch got to make you cough Leap when year? happened this pussy. Yeah, you know, you know. Hey, you know, let me stop. I'm, I'm some reminiscing in my old days. That's right. What's your what's your status now, Joe? Am I man, putting you on the spot? I ain't trying to ain't put you no on the spot. Spots, man. I'm fucking Joe Tory. I love it there. there. That's I'm trying to Shit. make sure. I can't re I can't erase history. Right. I, I, and I tell my family, I said, my you know my career is older than our relationship. So, <laughs> 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 I, at the end of the day, I got to be Joe Tory. That's what got me here. That's what got you here. <laughs> talking that shit. <laughs> You was a motherfucker. Me you used to talk about everybody in the crowd. That's wild. I, just, I used to be just out there, just wild as far as, you know, no motherfucking ceiling, no flow. Say what you got to do. Do what you got to do. I'm going to be there. Because right? you ain't, you know, you ain't got no family. You ain't no kids. You ain't, I ain't planning to have nothing right now. I ain't planning to be married with kids and baby mama and all that shit. All I wanted was some pussy. Now I got a baby mama and a you know, <laughs> wife and three kids. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's the story. I just wanted some pussy. Right. And That's now, the story you know, now, of my life. I was like, God damn. I'm, I'm a parent, a husband. I'm motherfucking still doing homework. I got a 10 year old, a 17 year old, a 26 year old. And, and, you know, you know, baby mama's is baby mama. Okay, Joe, when we was, when we was, when we was um, talking yeah. before you came up here, you said you have a son that's how tall? Yeah, my, guy, my oldest son, 26. He's like 6'2, 6'3. 6'2, 6'3. Yeah, he's supposed to be growing up here. Yeah, big ass motherfucker. That was. That's when I got date raped. That was my first kid. You got date raped. Got date raped. <laughs> <laughs> Men can get date raped, goddamn. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's my story. Y'all saw that movie Ricochet. Yeah. I, for real. I mean, I was trying to fight. <laughs> I was like, I don't even want this. I was trying to put a condom on. Was it the Antoine Fisher type date rape? Or? No. Yeah. You remember them no, bitches? This is <laughs> a friend came over 
you know, and you know, and just took advantage of my drunkenness and my friendship. <laughs> 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 It can happen. It can happen. <laughs> but I was expecting some other, you know what I'm saying? I was expecting something else. I was like, you know, and I fell asleep drunk, and I thought that was it. And she that was the Ride Me movement you finna start. Not the Me Too movement. You the, the Ride, ride Me. me. That was, it's the 90s. It was, you know, the motherfucker. Hey, yeah, it was. It was all those things was knocking the boots and right. Ride Me and all them just, you know, and I was like, motherfucker, who? And they was <laughs> like, I just came by to go to sleep. Play me like I was a little bitch. Just came <laughs> over and took some day. I just came over and go to sleep. <laughs> and reaching and grabbing. Ooh, hey, what's wrong? <laughs> Jump on top. You ain't. I said, with my condom. I can't get pregnant. The moon ain't full. The uh, time ain't right. <laughs> 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 the old I can't get pregnant game. And I ain't hear from that bitch for like motherfucking three months later. She said, I'm going. I'm on. I'm ready to get some pussy. She's like, I'm like, yeah, what's, what you what you? And I got the old phone. You know, back then, you call. It wasn't no pagers. Right. You had to pick up and one no messages like, yeah, yeah, what you want? I'm putting the antenna up. You I'm had driving. the brick. I had to grab the shit. And yeah. I'm driving. What, 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 what's up? Where you get? Where, where you been? No, no, I, you know, what you doing? I said, oh, I'm, I'm on my way to the birthday party. Hey, hey, oh, yeah, okay. What you? I'm going through the valley up over the hill. I'm, I, back then, I lived, you know, Santa Monica. I was living in that area, Westwood. I'm like, I'm trying to get me some valley pussy. What's, what's, what you want? I said, you know, I just, we got to talk. I said, we got to talk. Damn, you say that shit. I said, what's up? Are you pregnant? Yeah. I'll talk to you later. I'm keeping it. Click. I was like, what the fuck? That room, I got damn go get some pussy moment. Hell yeah. That'll fuck, that'll fuck some pussy like, up. Yeah, I pregnant still got, pussy. I still got the pussy. But, you know, I was like, yeah. Damn, know, that's crazy. I, I And, you know, I was, I was, I was, man, I was young. I was 20, what, 24, 25 at the time? I don't know what the fuck I was. Yeah, young and healthy. Yeah, that should have fucked you up, man. Yeah. Young and healthy, goddammit. Yeah. My baby mama, I don't, even, I don't know how the fuck I got my daughter mama pregnant and shit. Yes, I you do. fucked up. You know what it was. Well, I mean, I know what I did, but I'm saying, like, I should have got the what fuck away the from What was the lure? What was the lure? Huh? She caught me with my nuts full. What was your lure? No, she kept it this time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I I, I... I was never... I always thought I could... I could, I could talk that bitch out of keeping it. Yeah. She kept it this time. Mm -hmm. She wanted a part of my life, part of my history, and it fucked me uh, up. Uh, uh, Carla, you ain't <laughs> shit. I don't even talk to her. I don't even know how she yeah, looks. This time, you know, because the women got looking look, I can't do this to many more I times. think I'm going to fuck my, my, my baby mama again, my daughter do, mama. Why? Just to do it, because I know, like, she always talks shit about me. I always talk shit about mm. her. But I see the lonely, desperate look in her hey man, eye. Let me tell you something. You and need me, bitch. You can't take a <laughs> chance and say no. You'll be doing right by yourself saying, fuck you, Corey, don't ever call me again. But I'm going to fuck you for sport because I know your struggle is real. You bitch. Oh, go ahead, Joe. One, one, last, one last time. <laughs> the last dance. Right. That's what it is. I taught her a lot of shit. I God know, man. You know, you know, come on, man. I mean, you know, this is, I think it's to a point where we, as you guys, like, you, you know, my wife, I've been married going on 19 years. You know what I'm saying? We've been knowing each other 26 years. Oh, wow. I'm nine years older than her. But, oh. you know, I've been trying to fuck that look off her face since the first time <laughs> I met her. You say you've been trying to fuck, fuck the look off her face? Yeah, you know, she's fine, <laughs> bitch, with the, with the look on her face. You be like, bitch, you just need some good dick, bitch. You need that look fucked off your face. And after you fucking you, it come right back. <laughs> it don't fucking never change. House, success. You thought you could fuck happiness into it, didn't you? So well, you just want the look off the face. <laughs> it's, you just see like a line sometimes, Leah, they always like a line. They ain't never smiling, they just like a goddamn line. And you like, that fucking, you like, I can't never fuck that look, I mean, even though they can be happy, but the look is always there. That's that attitude, man. I'm telling you, and, man. You know, and, you, and it's like, yeah, so it's like, you know, because, you know, you can't make nobody happy. Happiness comes from what motherfuckers do to themselves. They, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't trying to mess You know what I'm saying? I make you happy for a minute, and you can do some shit for a minute. I can inspire you onto roads of happiness. I can get you off. Yeah. If I can't get you off of my dick, I have given up on trying, and I go get yeah. them toys. Yeah, oh, come on, man. I used to be Dr. Doolittle with the motherfucking <laughs> <man. laughs> You used I to have toys? Man, I used to live in Atlanta, goddammit. <laughs> Woo! Because <laughs> I was out. Yeah, I was, trust me, it was like, you know, motherfucker, hey, it was like, you know what? 
You didn't bring no nothing home because we was like, you know, in the house, nobody's leaving this house without being satisfied. Can't leave the motherfucker five nine two. So we'd have all type of motherfuckers running around there and everything. You can't leave this house talking about we got some mad dick from Joe Tory. You ain't <laughs> knock on Joe Tory though. <laughs> but you busy, bitch. Play with this while I'm motherfucking telling this. We used to be just getting well, it man, in. This real talk, Joe. But that was that was real shit back then. I mean, I was you know I ain't had no kids. I was I was fucking just doing it, getting it in. Cause I was in the women in fucking Atlanta. I'm like, all y'all niggas down here don't want these bitches more for me. Right. All y'all yeah. bitches like dick, come on over to the five nine two. House of sausage. House of <laughs> five nine two house of sausage. So Joe, but let me ask you something about the toys, because unfortunately for me, yeah, a toy took one of my bitches. She yeah. she wasn't up on the toys, and I did some tour with this toy, yeah. and she stopped fucking with hey, me man. over that toy. Hey man, they will do that shit. So hey. I don't have to feel bad. No, hey man, I, cause you, you know, bitch, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause you know what, and it, and it, and it, you know, and my thing was, you know, this bitch is, you know, what I'm saying she was in both ways anyway, so it was like she was a setup bitch. Setup bitch. She was a setup bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a setup bitch. You know, you like, yeah. Bitch, I, go get you other bitches. Yeah, exactly. So you know, you like what? Bitch, next thing you know, you both of y'all banging them bitches. You like, hey, hey. Okay, she gave, I got it. I mean, I had all type of little toys and shit. This one grabbed it. Oh, I see this motherfucker. I don't know if it's okay to do with you. Ever give me no shit like that again. I was like, why? She's like, motherfucker, my dad gave a poor man. I was like, yeah. are you giving a fuck? She's like, why you think I ain't talking about you? This shit, I have been taking off from work. I can't, she was addicted to that motherfucker. That shit was, I had a motherfucker's grabbing, snatching. I was some new shit. I ain't even, I was like, Oh, it can try happen. that one, and that shit was snatching, moving. Um, she was like, "God, do you damn. hear this, young nigga?" This took off work. This is the '90s, though. That twenty dollar ass toy can have your rich pussy unresponsive to you, like no, a dead no, nigga. No, Maybe no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, it ain't, ain't nothing gonna be unresponsive because you know that motherfucker can't bend them and push them and prod them and grab them and choke them out. You but right, do, but they got little do. ass toys that can make that thing erupt. Yeah, that at times. Yeah, but don't, 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 don't you want some shit that is in training? Don't they what? Say don't, that again. Don't you, yeah, I, I want a pussy that's been in training. I want no shit that you know you be ready for the, the big whoa show. out pussy. No, not the whoa out. See, it ain't a whoa out pussy. You said it ain't no whoa out pussy. Ain't no whoa out pussy man. So you telling me these hookers got hope? Oh, man, let me tell you something, homie. It's them walls in that house. It's them walls in that house. It's them walls in the house. It's them walls in the house. It's that house music. Don't know. Put it perfectly. Anyway, sometimes it's all about the dirt house. It's some holes in this house. You might not get it in the first 20 minutes. Keep going. It's some holes. Might not get it in the first 20 minutes. It's some holes in this house. It's some holes. Not the first 10 minutes. Not the first house. hour, it's some holes in but it's gonna house. come a time if you gotta do it. It's gonna come. You gonna hit that wall, and you gonna make them fall. It's some holes in this house. It's some dick and balls in that house. It's some dick and balls in that house. You hey. They got a lot of house songs like that. They got this one. I ain't fucked all week. 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 <laughs> hey man, I'm telling you something, man. Don't motherfucker. Hey, I come from the day you, you, I mean, you, you, hey, I used to just put on my motherfucking cleats. The bitch come in, I got a helmet on. She tell you, what you dressed like that for? I'm butt naked with motherfucker. My college days, cleats and a helmet and a mouthpiece. Ain't no kissing, just straight fucking and digging in. They, 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 you need them cleats with some of these floors. This was back in the, you know, back in my 80s and 90s. Yeah. It was just straight smash, grab. When you had to percolate, you had to, you know, you know nobody call your shit out. So now I'm a grown-ass man, man. If I ain't found out now, I, 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 you know, I don't know. The legend is done. Legend is done. And you know, come on, don't quit playing. You from no, Chi-Town. Yeah, it's over quit for me. I ain't even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no, mo there ain't no, well, there is some. Legend, so legend. It's some nipples out there, you know, you just like, you know, you can smash them, but they just come back to life. You ever ran into them? Them what? Nymphos, the motherfucker with the goddamn uh, Terminator pussy. Well, that's the problem. 
Niggas be wanting to fuck. But at our age, you don't want no woman that want to fuck. Yeah, well, you don't want no girl to be. What's up, nigga? What a dick. Yeah, oh, well, sometimes it ain't it ain't that. See, all, all see, men are about sight and sound. We hear so we think we conquering, we killing it. And sometimes women they can fuck, but they you know you're nympho. You know they come quick, and that keeps you learning. You, huh, huh, Amanda's back in the day. She was coming every two, three minutes. You just kept me, huh, huh. And I was like, yeah, I told you, you can't handle no dick. But every she's like, come on. <laughs> what about no, stop? Okay, come on! I'm like, bitch, stop what the fuck? What about the squirter bitches, Joe? What about oh, them? Come on, the squirter motherfuckers. Remember, you ever remember the first time you got squirted on? Yeah. I almost got a K. <laughs> I thought the bitch peed on me. And they're all peed like, yeah, it ain't pee. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? Sis? He's like Jason. I'm like, yeah. What the fuck is this? 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 Dude, that shit again. I miss my squirter, bitch. I had a bitch. Oh, she man. was just, it was all everywhere. What's my be bed? I ain't give a fuck. Oh, I was like, I'm going to leave after this, bitch. But is it me? You got to mop okay. this bed, bitch. But check it out. <laughs> is it me or is the squirt? See, the squirt is different because the squirt dry up. Squirt dry up. Like, it don't last long. Like, somebody pee in the bed, you know, pee is dead. You say squirt dry quicker? Yeah. <laughs> Not this bitch. And I had an old St. Louis e squirting e bitch. E e either, 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 she must have been pissing on you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think I'm it like, was both. For real, because motherfucker squirt, the whole sheet, you know, the bed don't stay wet long. Usually when your motherfucker pee on you, the mattress wet. The no, bed I'm wet. You got to change that shit. But squirting, you be, you like, okay, let's move over here for a minute. And you be over here for a minute, you roll back over there and like, oh shit, I ain't wet no more. That guy lady, what you damn? I thought you just one fucking gushed on me. I squirt, the squirt difference and the density is not the same. It's the density, that's yeah. the word. <laughs> that's the word right there, the density. Density in the squirting is not the same molecular structure of P. The heavy squirter I had used to be mad. She'd be like, you always nut in about five minutes. I'm like, shit, when that squirt get cold, I'll be ready to get up, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because she work. squirt a lot in the bed at the while. Yeah, when it come yeah, out, it's yo. warm. I can fuck it in the warm squirt. Yeah, dick don't work. When that shit get cold, I'll be yeah. like, look, bitch, dick get don't your work lemonade cold pussy spots. having ass out of here. Dick don't work in cold spots. <laughs> you know that. Say that again. Dick don't work in cold spots. I remember from when I, mean, I was in college, man. If I a nigga off. fuck you in Alaska, that nigga love you. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, he, you remember, you know, Western Illinois, right? Hell yeah. I remember this chick. Tony up Romo. Was up there. <laughs> no, he went to Eastern, my bad. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was the ghetto one. That was, that was the one closer to Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Halfway to SIU, that was there. Right there. Yeah. But uh, I, w I, mean, I went to Western. That chick, I'm going to give you some pussy in Ireland. I told myself, you know, I ain't know she had an apartment all off. I ain't know this bitch didn't have no heat. I came in there drunk after the party. I'm hot. I'm, I'm going to take a shower. I came out there, man. I had This one I had my little Jerry Carroll juice. My shit froze up. My <laughs> nuts froze up. I went and got to the bed. My dick was little as a motherfucker. So I was like, God damn it. You got some heat? Yeah. I was trying to water, bring it up. I was like, my dick was big as a motherfucker in the bathroom. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Your dick, your dick big in the heat fucking, and small and cold. The bitch had a nice apartment, no fucking electricity, no heat. Yeah, I didn't have one of them before, too. Trying to fuck in the cold. Nigga, you like, God, now I don't even want a nut. Yeah. Bitch stay in Denver. Oh. Her, 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 uh, her heat was off, goddamn it. Mm. It was fucked up. I wow. still pulled it off, though. You pulled it off? It made that flight in the morning. <laughs> You know how that yeah, goes. Yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck with a hot water bottle behind your back. <laughs> face ain't fuck with a hot water bottle behind your back. So look, hey, Joe, so yeah. like this, everybody don't know, I, I filmed this video, mm -hmm. and Joe Torrey came through, and he helped me out with a lot of shit. Man, he helped me funny with some direction man. and all that shit. Yeah, oh, you like the song I wrote? Man, that shit was, I, I had a good time. Man. I always have a good time with Corey. That was good, Joe. Yeah, I man. had a good time with that. With, yeah. You know, because coincidentally, you did. Yo thing that I want you want to shout it out because people be looking out for it. Oh, well we did. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. What the fuck? Twenty twenty. What the fuck is coming out? You in it, man? It's gonna be new way of late night comedy. You see it up there. It's it's gonna be the new shit. Got all the legends. Got the the new ones, the young ones. But we, you know, it's just giving, you know, giving our people their roses right now, letting them speak and changing the whole game of what you know comedy and what this whole style of what it used to be. 
we at a point right now where you doing what you're doing, and we we had we had a precedence where we can change the game and make them like our entertainment, our style. Yeah. Instead of falling to that same old shit you watch all the time. And, you know, I, I would love to see this every week. It's like you would love to see, you know. Something That's what else. I'm saying, Joe. You doing right. your thing. Yeah. See, we can't wait on Hollywood no, no more. No, man. no, no. We no, really, no. we really can't. Hollywood. First of all, Hollywood is not gonna grab the motherfuckers no. that who are. I'll put it like this: when you creative, you actually intimidate Hollywood because they got, so. they got intentions for people of color who are going to be in their game. Yeah. And that is to be coon, sissy, some shit <laughs> like that. I'm just keeping it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers who motherfucking going to say what the fuck they want and say what they mean and shit, you know what I'm saying? We don't really get that Hollywood rotation, you know what I'm saying? That's why I was glad that you was doing your thing. When I went there, I was I thought, man, you had said that. I was oh, sitting yeah, at the said, table with said that the title. Come on, Yo, man. Yo, St. Louis, brother. Come on, that's my homie, man. That's my homie. I mean, um, said, man, Fed has been with me. Super Bowl commercials, uh, a lot of stuff, man, we just been helping each other with. Uh, and, and that's what it is. Right about now, it's like, man, when your brother call you, man, be there. Right. That's it. It ain't about, you know, we'll figure it out later, man. But if you can, you know, if you if we have a chance now, we can help each other no matter what you're about. As long as you ain't hating, killing, some fucking boom bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Help me, brother. Help me. I mean, it's, it's nothing sometimes to get showing up, man, and... You know, adding your presence, adding your motherfucking wisdom, your talent, and your character. And people love that, man. And, um, you know, this is a new day, man. That's exactly what you did, Joe. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you, man. Like, appreciate you, I man. I showed up for you, and you showed up for me big time. Come big on, time, brother. No, my, hey, 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 come on, man. It, it's our time. That's what's up. We're going to have Joe Torrey back at this month. Yes, we will. Because Joe, do, Joe, Joe, stay in the neighborhood. One thing about this motherfucker, it's a lot of motherfuckers in the neighborhood. Motherfuckers, y'all motherfuckers gonna come through or I'm gonna start knocking on y'all motherfucking doors. I know where y'all live, nigga. <laughs> but anyway, man, Joe, thanks for coming and doing the show, man. Come on, man. This was uh, Joe Tory, Industry Repo Show. We'll be right back, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah.
Another industry repo show in the books. God is good. God be looking out like a motherfucker. Jesus and God is the same nigga. <laughs> the Holy Ghost, he, he run with them niggas too. They all the same nigga. Nigga got a whole bunch of email addresses. That's all. It's the same nigga. <laughs> Damn, we should do a song to that motherfucker one of these weeks. Jesus and God, the same nigga. Now, anyway, we um we so do appreciate y'all and all y'all support. Y'all motherfuckers, I know y'all done slowed down with that cash app shit. Y'all be like, fuck that nigga. I don't blame you. Fuck y'all too, nigga. Y'all held the show down for a while, though. They don't fuck with me for real no more. I know the show, and the show gonna come to y'all late. It's not gonna be on time this week, goddammit, because we got motherfucking bootleg shit going on in this motherfucker. I sure ain't got one in a while. They used to teach me the first they used, they about used three to weeks. Right. They was 25. That's why they was like, fuck yeah. that nigga at the while. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's how the game go. You play out. We can be played out. I don't give a fuck, goddammit. Uh, Joe was talking about fucking them bitches right and shit. Um, fuck it. We're gonna do a song about that. The outro song. Give it to me. Yeah, this is dedicated to all the ladies who didn't get it like they wanted. That nigga sick. I know you naked in the bed and you tired of me giving you head. You want to fuck. That's what I want to do, but I'm going to take this pill, and it's on, one, two, yeah. I'm going to give it to you right, this pill done kicked in. I'm going to give it to you right, about to dive in. I'm going to give it to you right, this pill done kicked in. I'm going to give it to you right, about to dive in. Yeah! All you niggas out there, quit being prideful. Go to the motherfucking doctor. Get your prescription. Hey. 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 I'ma give it to you right. Peel the kicked in. I'ma give it to you right. I'm about to dive in. I'ma give it to you right. Come here, girl. They right next to me. And I'm gonna pop the pill. Talk about that XCA. Come on. Got another good feeling. Now, hey, some fucking five minutes. Hey, bet you don't know. That shit make your dick grow. Hey, cause the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Any hope. 5150 Industry Repo Show. Every Friday night, sometime. That's the new word. Every Friday night, sometime. We made it this week. We gonna try for next week. Thank you, Joe Tory. Cash up. Joe Bag. It's not fuck y'all. All I need about $20 for the gas. Let's put it in my cash. <laughs>